Hello everybody. This is Rajeshri with Soul Tuning and it is day 31. I had to check in there for a minute. 31 of my 90 day transformation in the raw. And I'm feeling I'm feeling really good. I just got out of uh, teaching an incredible yoga class and I'm buzzing. I I can't tell you enough how getting together with a group of people doing breath work and just slowing life down and loving on yourself with vibration through through the universal sound of oming and just getting in your body and just having that session to just slow down and stretch your body out and relax like you probably haven't relaxed in so long oh man so anyways, I'm feeling good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I just, I want to talk about this, this idea of not knowing, um, calling it, just saying, I don't know, right? I don't know. Meaning, there's so much, there's so much magic, there's so many possibilities endless possibilities around us, so many options, so many opportunities, a lot we can see. But when you're doing transitional work, when you're trying to change and shift some things in your life, you're not going to be able to see all of them, right? Because you're thinking through your eyes, through your mind, you're looking at the world through your eyes, you're thinking through your mind with where you're at. And if you're trying to change where you're at not that it's bad or anything but you're trying to grow and you're trying to evolve then of course there are possibilities that you just don't know about that are on the other side and how do you go from a really intense situation or depression or stagnancy you know the struggling this place wherever you're at that you're wanting to change how do you go from that to there right a to C. What is B? And B, it's kind of been the theme all week for me, is just getting out of your way, not having it fall, not having it all figured out, and saying, I don't know. That's openness. Openness is being willing to say that maybe you don't know everything. Maybe you don't have it figured out. Um, chances are you don't, because this is a very short lifetime, and unless you've been alive for lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, or you're really tuned into past lifetimes, or however you feel about that, we're all still learning, right? To the day we die, and then some, and we're still learning after that. So, you only know what you know, and if you know enough, and if you're humble enough, you'll know that you don't know much. And that's not a bad thing. This whole, you know, the, the master has the beginner's mind. And because not only are we shifting and changing and have been since the day we came into this physical manifestation as babies, but the world around us, the universe, everything is constantly shifting and changing. So having it all figured out or or even saying that your reality is a certain way because it has been quote unquote for the past 30 years right is not necessarily being open and allowing the world around you to change and rolling with it and just coming back to yourself and allowing yourself to shift and change and this is something I'm truly practicing over and over again because I do like structure, I do like routine, I do like things in their place, um, I do like organization, and you can have all that if you're unattached. The attachment to things being a certain way or having certain things figured out or feeling like you know it and so you can move on, the attachment to that is what causes the pain and the struggle of whatever's coming your way that may not be matching up with what you thought how it should be and so it's so freeing to come into this idea of I don't know more and more my husband helps me with this one a lot he's really good at it um, just yeah um, anyways <laughs> little little shout out to him but um 
yeah, it, it really helps just to say, I don't know. And then from there, I mean, remember, remember being a child, you weren't concerned with if this looked like that so much, you know, you're, you were just, you're at some age, right? When you're still fresh, you're just open to everything and you're just taking everything in and you're just like amazed with everything. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. You're just taking in all this information and thriving with it and not fretting about it not not needing it to be a certain way like these fires right now I don't know if you guys can see this there's no actual fire in the background but there's a lot of um, smoke and I was getting really frustrated with it at first because um, I there's such great fresh air up here where I'm at and this has been going on for probably a month or two now and now I'm, I'm good with it. <laughs> like, now I'm like, okay, yeah, there's fires. What can I do about it? Not a whole lot. I can choose to have a bad attitude about it or I can just roll with it and focus on something else, you know, and, and enjoy it. What do I have? You know, I've got animals all around me. I, I do, the air is somewhat fresh. I'm able to breathe. I'm not fully suffocating. And even if I was, I'd have, probably have to roll with that too <laughs> or change my situation, right? So just letting go and considering that maybe you don't know. Maybe you don't know why things are the way they are. Why is this happening to me again? You know, maybe you don't know or understand and not, not so much in a apathetic or depress depression state but more in an optimistic more of an intrigue like I don't know and huh I wonder you know more of a, a mystery and a wonder and yeah like like an intrigued state so there you'll be able to take in new information there you'll be able to learn there you're literally an open book there you're moldable and that's what you're trying to shoot for is is to shift out of what's not serving you anymore and take on something new and, and something fresh and that's going to happen for the rest of your life and that's what I, I don't know if very many know this about me but I talk to spirit all the time and I, I tune in me and spirit are tight <laughs> We have conversations constantly and Spirit's been talking to me all week about relax you know I've been feeling really intense and starting to relax at a much deeper level no matter what's going on around me you know what no matter what you see on Facebook what everyone's bitching about whatever's going on relax right don't give your power away to everything outside of yourself bring it back in come back to optimism what can I do or maybe I don't know you know maybe there's stuff going on and with the politicians and I mean that's not my reality I'm not a politician I'm not in in the White House I, even then they don't know because <laughs> stuff's been going on for hundreds and thousands of years before that so it's just best to stay in a beginner's mind it's more relaxing it's more free um, you float through and you navigate a lot easier I'm finding that and uh, it's more fun it's more fun you're alive you're alive for a reason you're alive to thrive so I really want to share that with you guys because it's so important and as these I want, I want to say these times but it's always these times right these times around us whatever's happening in our world as they get seemingly more stressful or more tense or um, more scary you know there's lots of fear swimming around um, instead of tightening up with it relax into it just let go and ride it you know like you're surfing on a wave you don't get tense when the wave comes you got to relax into it. And I, I'm learning this with golfing because I'm super sore and it was because I, I really don't know what I'm doing. It was my first time golfing this last weekend. But the more I relaxed and bent my knees and just went and swung that way, the ball would take off. 
it was incredible. When I wasn't, if I hit the ball, when I was tense, if I hit the ball, it was more like softball and where it was a grounder and it wouldn't go very far or maybe I'd miss it all together because I was too tense and I wouldn't even hit the ball. So it's, there's a lot of activities out there that can show you how you need to relax even more. Golfing's definitely one of them. I'm learning, I'm learning about that. So love to hear from you. Uh, your thoughts on all this, your questions. Questions are great because then I'm able to tune in and receive information and learn from it. Sit back as the observer and learn from the questions. So the power is in the questions. So if you've got questions to share, please